Time now for sports with Scott Breen. Welcome back, everybody. It's quarterfinal week for the football fellows, and they fire up tomorrow. Q2's Casey Common shows us who to look out for. Where else could we start but with the team that's won 23 straight, the Senior Bronx. And they haven't just squeaked by in those games. Senior has won every one by double digits. But... They opened the playoffs against Bozeman, who held the Bronx to their lowest point total this year, 27, and played them closer than anyone, losing by just two scores. It's enough to make you think, though Senior is still a massive favorite tomorrow. The three other AA games all could be close, including West's trip to Helena. The Bears and Bengals didn't play this year, but Helena beat West 28-21 in the final game of the regular season last year in the capital city. The game of the week is in Class A, as defending champ Dillon travels over 500 miles to Eastern A champ Sydney. We talk to the kids all the time about, you know, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Well, we're about to experience quite a journey. Travel is nothing new for Montana football teams, but the Beavers haven't been that far east in almost 25 years. Pretty wild that uh, us two schools, you know, being in the same division, have to travel all the way across the state, but I think it's a lot of fun that we get to go over there and play them. I think we're definitely going to have to focus a lot harder. Um, the long trip's definitely going to be tiresome for us, but uh, we're going to practice hard, and then I think we'll be good to go. Both teams enter Saturday's showdown 8-1. and one. Miles City, Glendive, and Central also have quarterfinal matchups on deck, meaning the four teams who advance from the new 10-team Eastern Conference are all original Eastern A members. It's still this Miles City, the Sydney, the Laurel, the teams that we just had to, had to really uh, gear up for in uh, physical football, and, and so we still had that with a uh, little sprinkles in between, I guess. Central opens their playoff run with Frenchtown, a team they beat 46 nothing in week three last year. But this year's Bronx won seven more games than that squad. They're tremendously better. I mean, last year they were all young. I mean, they pretty much have their whole team from last year. They all looked like they got in the weight room, all that. They prepared pretty well for this year. Central has won seven in a row since an early season loss to Sydney. The only team with a longer one, Miles City, who will bring an eight-game streak to Columbia Falls. Touchdown. We've talked about White Sulphur Springs' dominance this year. The Hornets are 10-0 in just their second season in six-man, but play a team Saturday who's even newer to the bracket. Weibo was an eight-man powerhouse for years, and the Longhorns are faring just fine in the drop-down after an early learning curve. Overall, it took us, took us a while to mesh together and make sure everybody knows what they're doing, mm -hmm. but I've been stealing a little bit from, from everybody as we go through here and, and just kind of learning as we go as well. Luckily, Lundy's had plenty of help from his players. A lot of times they're coming up with plays. A lot of times I let them call the play out on the field. They called a couple plays and scored touchdowns on Saturday. So, I mean, yeah, they're grasping it really well. They needed every call in a 51-45 thriller last week over Geraldine Highwood, and they'll need every one again against a Hornets team that hasn't scored less than 52 all season. Those are some key quarterfinals we'll be watching over the next 48 hours across Montana. Casey Conley, MTN Sports. And looking forward to it, a reminder, we have all of this weekend statewide pairings at montanasports.com. We'll also be sharing scores, as we always do, as they go final.